What's going on, everybody? Crazy Dog back for another video. Week 17 picks. I know this season has flown by way too fast. You know, it feels like it should only be week 4 or 5. But here it is, week 17 already. And you already know my friend Blake is on FaceTime, ready to do these picks. All right, so uh, before we start with the picks, we got playoff scenarios. Uh, in the NFC, Atlanta Falcons can clinch a first-round bye with a win. Uh, may, a Seattle loss. Oh, yeah, a win, a tie, plus Seattle loss or tie. A Seattle loss and Detroit loss or tie. And Seattle tie and a Detroit loss. The Seahawks can clinch a first-round bye with a win... Atlanta loss or tie, and a tie, and an Atlanta loss, and a Green Bay-Detroit tie, which I don't think that's happening. Detroit can clinch a division uh. title with a win, of course, and they can, can cl they can clinch a first-round bye with a win, a Seattle loss or tie, and an Atlanta loss. And they can clinch a playoff berth with a tie or in a, in a Washington loss or tie. It was a lot of crap here. Holy crap. Green Bay. <laughs> Green Bay has, well, or can clinch a division title with a win or a tie, a playoff berth with a Washington loss, a Washington tie, and a, t a Tampa Bay win because apparently Green Bay will uh, clinch at least a share or at least wait it says. Green Bay clinches a at least a tie in strength of victory over Tampa Bay. Hmm, whatever that is. I've never yeah. even heard of that. But uh, and then it says, no, Green Bay clinches at least a tie in strength of victory tiebreaker over Tampa Bay if one of the following teams win or tie. Seattle, Seattle, Houston, Jacksonville, Philly, and then Green Bay has already clinched a strength of schedule tiebreaker over Tampa. Okay. Yeah. Washington... Still in it. They can clinch a playoff berth with a win. A Green Bay-Detroit game does not end in a tie. Pretty much. And then, or or Washington can tie. Green Bay loss and a Tampa Bay loss or tie. Hmm. All right. So all they got to do is just hope that, you know, win and then uh, hope Green Bay-Detroit doesn't end in a tie, which I don't think that game is going to end in a tie. Yeah. And yeah. then somehow... The Buccaneers are still in it, even though I think they have the smallest chance to get in. Uh, they win with a tie. They can get in with a tie. Oh, no, no. They can get in with a win, a Washington tie, a Green Bay loss, because of that whole strength of victory tiebreaker thing. Yeah. And they can clinch the strength of victory tiebreaker if all of the teams win. Uh, Tennessee, Indianapolis... Dallas and San Francisco. Hmm. Then you the, realize those are all, almost all AFC teams, right? Yeah. Except, except for except Dallas and San Fran. What do the Niners have to do with it? They have two lot or they have two wins. What do they have to do with it? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know how the Buccaneers are even in it. I don't know. Now in the AFC, it's, it's a lot easier because, you know, we already know the teams that are in it. But... Yeah. New England can clinch home field advantage throughout the whole playoffs with a win or a tie and an Oakland loss or a tie. Oakland can so clinch. Do, so if they lose, they, they can still have Oakland lose and they still get home field advantage, right? I'm pretty sure. As long as Oakland loses, I'm pretty sure New England will have home field advantage. <laughs> yeah. Oakland can clinch a division title and a first round by with a win or tie and a Kansas City loss or a tie. And Oakland can clinch home field advantage throughout the playoffs with a win and a New England loss. Right. Kansas City can clinch division title in a first round bye with a win and an Oakland loss. And Miami can clinch a number, the number five seed with a win and a Kansas City loss. Yeah, because they're the sixth seed right now. Yeah. All right, that's a, that's the scenarios. I know it's very complicated. Yeah, that, that took a 
Yeah, it took a long. It took five minutes. Holy crap! But now on to the fun yeah, stuff. A lot of stuff. Now on to the fun stuff. Right. Let's get to the picks. Um, first game we got Ravens and Bengals again. One of the games that doesn't mean a dang thing. Uh, of course, there's no Thursday or Monday game, so these are all on Sunday. So we got Ravens Bengals at Paul Brown. Who you got? Um. Uh. I think the I think Ravens. I think the Ravens will get this win. They'll just be a, yeah, because they're like I think they're like uh seven and eight right now. So they're pretty much just playing for pride. And uh, they've had they have a, they've had a pretty good defense this year. Their offense is just what's killed them. Had a heartbreaking loss last. Last uh, last Sunday against the Pittsburgh Steelers, they I thought they had that game won, but they just, they just let it slip out. Like uh, Steelers always manage to pull out tight wins like that somehow. But uh, yeah, I think they're gonna win this one just playing for pride. Yeah, I got the Ravens winning this game. I mean they, I mean like you said, they legit had that Steeler game won. Yeah. And then you know Pittsburgh. Just pulled some magic and they wound up winning the game. Because that offense, man. Yeah, that offense Maybe. is no joke. Not yeah, to mention the Bengals are trash. Guy. I mean the yeah, Bengals. Yeah. 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 The Bengals. Keep interrupting each other. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like, uh. Yeah, the Bengals put Eifert on the IR. So yeah. yeah, they're not taking any chances with their big players. So yeah, Ravens should win this game. I'm surprised that AJ came back, to be honest. Like, he has nothing to play for. He's just going to risk an injury in the last game. I know. The team's not in any position for the playoffs. Why? Why? Yeah, why, like why risk it? Eight or something like that. Like, why? Yeah. Why risk it? You know, save yeah, your body. Your team sucks. Just just don't come back. I think the Ravens are just – I think I'm, – yeah, I'm, they probably just really want to get to that 8-8. Eight eight. They don't want to have a losing record. So I'm pretty sure they're going to try really hard to – get that 8-8 eight and eight because I'm sure they don't want a losing record. Bengals already know they're getting a losing record regardless, so. Yeah. Yeah. I actually heard a rumor that Marvin Lewis was retiring after the year, but that was quickly debunked as false. So he isn't retiring. Really? Yeah. I wish he was. Just I know. 14 years, no playoff there. wins. Yeah. That it's sucks. life in that stadium. Yeah. Um, all right, next game. Next game, we got... The AFC South champion Houston Texans facing off against Boo. the Tennessee Titans in Tennessee. <sighs> Who do you got? Titans. I think the Texans are going to be resting their starters. But, but the Titans lost Mariota. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, who are they going to play? Like Zach Mettenberger or something? Um, I don't even know who their backup is. I think that's who it is, but it's either him or, like, Whitehurst or something. Whitehurst? The last team they had, Whitehurst, was the Browns. He got hurt. Oh, so, yeah, he's probably just nowhere now. Yeah, I don't think any team has him. I don't even know who the backup is. It might be Bro, Mettenberger. No, I don't even know. Whitehurst. It was Whitehurst a couple of years ago. Now, I'm pretty sure it's Mettenberger. Yeah. No, but, yeah, he, he, either way, yeah. I don't think – I don't know. I, both these teams aren't – I don't think e- either of these teams are playoff teams, even if the Texans did clinch the division. They have the worst division in football. Yeah. So there's that. So, yeah. I, yeah, no. They won the division because the Bengals' field goal kicker could not make a field goal. <laughs> yeah. I really wanted the Titans to win the division, but um, they didn't get it done. So, yeah. whatever. I'll, I'll be rooting for the Titans because I don't like the Texans. But, yeah, I, I see the Texans winning this. They just... They got their starting QB, even though he sucks ass. But Marcus Mario does everything to those Titans, so I I think that's gonna be a huge loss for them. Yeah. All right, next game we got the Carolina Panthers going against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who, by some grace of God, still have a minuscule shot at the playoffs. Um. Panthers took a hard L last week. Um, yeah, I think they. I, I. I'm pretty sure they're just giving up hopes of, like, so they're not gonna get that eight and eight season now. So they're just like, fuck it. And I, I don't 
don't see them winning this game. I, I think Carolina's going to take the L here. I don't think they are going to put much effort into this game. Yeah, I think the Panthers are in vacation mode. They're done. The Buccaneers yeah. are going to win this game. They were hot for a couple games, but now they're from, ever, since they lost, they're like, eh, whatever. Yeah. They're like, we don't care. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, they're when's like, our tea time? Dude, the Super Bowl hangover is real. This is the first time since, I think, 2003, 2004, at least that's what I heard, where both teams that made the Super Bowl the previous year missed the playoffs the next year. Yeah, we thought the Broncos were going back-to-back Super Bowls after the first four, like f- five, six weeks when they went like 4-0, 5-0. Yeah, and, uh, now look at them. Yeah, now they're not even making the playoffs. It's freaking 7-8 and eight team or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I, don't know. I wouldn't have never expected it. You see, like, Seattle and the Pats, they're always coming back year after year uh, in elite, as an elite team, but I guess they're just one-hit wonders, both of those teams. Yep. All right, next game, we got the now 1-14 Cleveland Browns going to Heinz Field to face the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm actually going to go with the shocker. I'm going to say Browns win this game, which, I mean, part of me doesn't want that because, hey, we want the number one pick, but the Steelers are going to be sitting their starters, most likely. Yeah, what would happen if the 49ers lose next week, which they probably will, and you guys just somehow in hell manage to get a win? Well, we're going to get the number two pick. How would that shake down, though? Like, how 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 would 49ers get the one pick? I think strength of schedule. Really? Yeah. I always thought it came down to like conference wins or something like that. Maybe it is, but I know it's um, maybe strength of schedule. Yeah, it's something complicated, like not conventional. Yeah. But yeah, we'll see how it plays out. Yeah. All right, next game we got the Dallas Cowboys going to the link to face the Eagles. Well, um, oof. I'm going to go Cowboys. You know the Eagles are favored in the spread by uh, minus five. Wow. You know that? Yeah. <laughs> I looked on the games. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, I was like are you serious? Even, like, they're playing their starters and they're, and they're ahead in the spread, I guess. So I don't know. I don't know how that worked out. But yeah, I'm going Cowboys. You're going Cowboys? Yeah. I Any think they're going to roll through the rest of the regular season. And then they're going to get a flat tire in the playoffs and just freaking fall. They're going to flop. Yeah, I, yeah they're, I, I say they – yeah, I don't I, – I, I, there's no way they're going to the Super Bowl. I say they go maximum to the NFC Championship. They get a win. They just – if they do get one win, it'll be it'll, – it'll, they'll just like barely slide by. It's like a, like a Packers team or a Giants team or something like that. But, yeah, I don't – yeah, I don't see – I don't see them getting far in the playoffs, but – yeah, I think uh, Philly got a little bit of momentum from that Giants game. They want to finish their season strong, and uh, they're in Philly. They they usually always play good there this year. They play pretty damn good besides a couple games. But, yeah, I think the Phillies are going to get – not the Phillies. <laughs> <laughs> I, think the, I think the Eagles are going to get the upset win here. I don't know. I just feel it. I think we're going to finish the season strong. Go, it's high the record we had last year, 7-9. Yeah. All right, next game, we got the Buffalo Bills, who just fired the Ryan brothers. And now their new head coach is Anthony Lynn, going to Meadowlands to face the Jets. Um, yeah, I got the Jets in this one. Um, I think the Bills are just going to fall apart after this game. They're finally out of the playoff race, and... Uh, um, and I know a lot of those players uh, loved the Ryan brothers, even though they suck at coaching. Like a lot of they, he had a lot of uh, team love. Those coaches did, and uh, I'm pretty sure they're probably falling apart this week. And I don't think their minds are going to be in it, not in the playoff race. So I think the Jets are just going to get the job done, even though they are their their coach situation could be escalating by the end of this next game if they 
do manage to lose, which they probably, they might, they might not, but yeah, I got the Jets. Yeah, I mean, the Bills, I wouldn't be surprised if the Bills somehow won this game because the Jets are just that yeah. bad. But I mean, yeah, looking at it, the Jets are probably going to win this game. They're going to sneak in, they're going to sneak through this game. I mean, really, though, both teams are kind of falling apart. Bills more than them because they, they have more – they've had a lot more attention put on them because of Rex Ryan. He's always – he's an attention whore pretty much. And yeah. Todd Bowles is more of a quiet guy. But he's – his coaching job, week by week, it's just been slowly slipping away from his club grasp. And I wouldn't be surprised if he got fired uh, this year or next year. Most likely next year. But it couldn't be this year if he just played awful this next game. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people were expecting him to get fired, especially after that Dolphins game, that performance yeah. in that Dolphins game. A lot of people were expecting that. Yeah. And now I heard that their GM, Doug Whaley, who is somehow still in the front office, who's still leading the charge over there, he'll be uh, leading yeah. the coaching search. Really? Yeah. All right, next game, we got the Chicago Bears going to Minnesota to face the Vikings. <clears throat> I got Chicago. I think Jordan Howard's going to have a big game. He's a good young back. He's going to be top t- He's gonna. He already is pretty much a top 10 running back, but he'll for sure be a top 10 running back next year. Uh, yeah, I think he's – I think he'll I, – I think he'll carry the Bears on his back. I think Matt Park. We'll do enough to get it done. Minnesota Vikings have just been torn apart. Asia Pierce got injured again. I'm pretty sure he's not gonna play another game as a Viking. Pretty sure they're gonna trade him or do something with him. But yeah, I don't see uh, the Vikings are just being they're just falling apart these last few games. They've just played awful on all all parts of the game. So yeah, I'm, I think Vikings aren't gonna win this game. Yeah, I got the Bears. I mean, that means the Vikings will complete possibly. The biggest flop, like, since the Falcons of, uh, what, two or so years ago. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, everyone thought, yeah, man, the Vikings are going to, like, be a threat for the playoffs. And here, they fall to 7-9. Or no, yeah, everyone was, when, uh, everyone was getting those hot streaks, everyone was either, like, saying, like, Vikings are going to the Super Bowl against the Pats, the Broncos, and now... Pats are still standing like they always are, but Broncos and Vikings are just faded. Yeah. Yeah, All I can't right. believe uh, Vikings have only have seven wins. Yeah. God, damn. I would have thought after they started out that hot, I was like, oh, they're at least going to have ten wins. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Cause, cause mainly because, because of injuries. Are, kind of a hypocrite, though. Like, Eagles didn't win as... Um, they didn't go on as big of a winning streak as the Vikings did, but they started out hot, and then after that bye, when they played the Lions, lost that heartbreak game. Yeah, they just fell apart from there, so I'm kind of a hypocrite for talking about the Vikings like that, so I'll shut up and say the Eagles did the same thing, but yeah, that both, both teams kind of went through that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, next game. Next game, we got, oh, God. We got the Jacksonville Jaguars going to Indy to face the Colts. Mm-hmm. Going to Indy? Indy, yeah. Uh, I mean, Jags did look pretty impressive. That That's just because of the Doug Brown, he's a, I think he could be a great coach. I always thought he was a good coach, but um, I think I think the Jags should hire him as their next coach, which, uh, and, uh, yeah, I think they're going to get this win against Indy because Indy's out of the playoff race, too, uh, after last week. And, yeah, I don't, they're not playing for anything. I, I still think Andrew Luck's going to have a good game, though. He's a good QB. But um, what do you think about the Doug Marone thing? Do you think he should be the next coach? No. No, I mean, he's he's, a, so? he's an okay coach. But they need a oh. better coach than what they got now. I think they can do he's better. A, he's a good motivator. Yeah. That's fine. That's why they won that last game. I I told you that's I said the Jaguars were gonna get an upset win and look what they did. Like I told yeah. you he was gonna motivate them to get that win and he did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
That and the fact that Mariota got hurt. Yeah. I mean, but still, they, they had that they had that game the entire time. They just destroyed the Titans. Yeah. All right. Next game. Next game. Ooh, we got actually we got a pretty good game going on right here. We got the New England Patriots going to South Beach to face the Dolphins. South Beach. That's tough because it's not New England. If it was yeah. New England, it'd be locked down pass, but. Huh. I don't know. I guess the Pats just have to. The Pats are pretty much just playing for the. They already got the first round by locked. I, they're just pretty much playing for that home field advantage. I think the Dol- Dolphins are trying to get that five seed, so. I think the Dolphins are going to want the win more. Patriots already locked the playoffs with 13 wins. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go with. Uh, the Dolphins on this one, upset win. I think they want it more, and I think Matt Poor, Matt Matt Moore is a pretty decent QB. I think he can amount to something good. I think, honestly, I think if he if he gets in the right situation, I think he can end up being the next Kirk Cousins. Next couple of years, he could just break out out of nowhere. Yeah, he very well could. But yeah, I mean, I don't. I kind of see those same qualities in him that I saw in Kirk Cousins a few years ago. Like, uh, he had a good first game, then he struggled that, uh, struggled last week, and I, I, don't know, I think he's gonna have a big performance this week, and obviously being carried by Jay Ajayi. Yeah. But being real here, I'm gonna go, uh, I wanna go Patriots, but most likely Brady ain't playing. Wait, why do you wanna go Patriots? Because... <laughs> Usually the Patriots are a very good team, but looking at last year, the Dolphins actually snuck up and beat the Patriots. So I'm going to go with Dolphins. Yeah, the, Dol- the Dolphins Dol- are hot Dol- right Dol- now. I'm going to go with Dolphins. The Dolphins are hotter than the sun. Out. I mean, Dude, they're hotter than the weather. So fast. The, the, <laughs> the Dolphins are hotter than the weather down there. I think the Dolphins <laughs> get this win. Dude, do you realize how fast said that yeah like a, a few seconds ago like holy cow yeah oh my god all right i, got, I need to calm down all right <laughs> next game all right next game oh goody we got uh, we got the kansas city chiefs <laughs> going to the dump known as qualcomm stadium to face the one team that lost to the browns the chargers you said the Chiefs? And the Chargers. Chiefs and Chargers. Yeah, I got the Chiefs. They're they're playing amazing right now. I wouldn't be surprised if they made a deep playoff run. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. I got Man, Chiefs. That, that'd be cool to see a Chiefs Raiders matchup in the uh in the AFC championship. That'd be pretty dope. Yeah. But I mean I'm going Chiefs. No yeah, way I'd pick the Chargers. Yeah, it, well honestly if the Chargers can actually stay healthy for once because like if they would have if they were if they would have been able to stay healthy this year I think they would have they could have easily had a 9-10 win season I think I mean they they I, know, I think they fought hard all season they played played well with pretty much every damn team out there with how their team was just torn apart by injuries they probably one of the worst injury bugs I've seen in a few years but I think they can be a good team if they got all their uh key players back, but they don't have any of them there except for Rivers, so they're not going to win this game. No. No way they win this game. <laughs> no. I mean, especially... They have to pull some out of their ass. <laughs> yeah, especially since they gave my Browns their one win of the year so far. Because <laughs> their kicker is absolute Stop. trash. <laughs> yeah, everyone on the, in the group chat called it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I said the Browns are going to win this game from the beginning of the year. And look what happened. We won. Wait, what game? Oh, the Chargers game? Yeah. Chargers-Browns. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 picked, I picked the Browns last week. Yeah. 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 All right, next game. All right, next game we got the Arizona Cardinals going to L.A. to face the Rams. Yeah, the Rams have literally no offense. Their coach is gone, so they're all flustered. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the Cards. The Cards actually have a decent defense, even though their offense can be good, but um, 
they've just been really off lately, off, off sync this whole second half of the season. So I'm going to go with the Cards. They, Rams just have shown me nothing this season. Yeah. I mean, the Rams are the reason why we still got the number one pick. Because yeah, the much. Niners absolutely own the Rams. So thank you, Rams. You know, letting the Niners beat you so we can keep the number one pick, you know, which we're most likely going to lose it this week because, you know, we're probably, probably going to... You're not going to beat the Steelers. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. But, you know, yeah, you know how the, you know yeah, how the yeah, Browns yeah. like to yeah. screw things up? They're going to screw it up by winning. <laughs> uh, but we'll see. The, the Browns, honestly, though, like, no offense, but, like, the Browns are the one team that when you, like, you always say, oh, any... Uh, any NFL team can be any NFL team every get any given Sunday. The only team I don't believe that about is the Browns. Mm. At least th- not not every year, but like at least this year. Yeah, this year. Like you're honestly saying the Browns can beat the Patriots or the Cowboys? No, they're not. <laughs> they're not gonna beat them. No, not this Browns team. No. Yeah, not this. No, not yeah, this I said Browns not, team. Not every year. Like a couple years ago, when they seven and nine, went seven and nine, yeah, they could have a shot at beating the best team, but not this. Year. I'm just saying, not this year. Yeah. All right, Bones. next game, we got the Raiders going to Mile High to face the Broncos. Uh, wow. God damn. Yeah, I think <clears throat> where the Broncos are in anymore, right? They're like eight and seven, right? They, they're not in. Anymore. They were they're eliminated now. They're done. Yeah, they were in it. Yeah, the Dolphins once they're out. Um, yeah, I want to go with the Raiders. They're <clears throat> they're fighting for that home field advantage in that first round bye. Uh, cause they they need to win that division to get that first round bye. So they got a lot more to fight for. Broncos aren't. Broncos are just hung over on that Super Bowl. So I don't see them doing anything this week. Yeah, I got the Raiders winning this game. Raiders got something to play for, whereas the Broncos, all the Broncos are thinking about is just getting the season over with and going on vacation. Like, uh, I got to bring up something, like, the Ch- this isn't about the Raiders, but, like, the Chiefs, like, this is the first year in, like, since I've been alive that the Chiefs have actually scared me. Even when they went on that on a let the, on that 11 game win streak, I knew that it was just they were just hot, like they weren't gonna do anything in the playoffs because they never did. But this is the first year that I've ever been alive that the Chiefs have really scared me. That I really think they can make a playoff run. Yeah, they Although, scare a lot of people. Yeah, they're, they're they're looking like the Pats right now or the Cowboys. They're yeah, I don't I don't know. Stephen Ware has really stepped up this season. He's probably gonna be I don't know him. It's gonna be between him and Jamal Charles. If Jamal Charles can stay healthy, otherwise he's probably gonna have to retire. Or get picked up by some shitty run, offensive running team, but then you got yeah, Tyreek Hill. Yeah. That dude, oh my god, Tyreek Hill, oh my god. Dude, you know he had zero receiving yards. Yeah. Yeah, he just what I I didn't even watch the game because I was I was watching a different game, but um uh like how does he not have any receiving yards but have a hundred rushing yards? Is he like were they like putting him in at running back? Or yeah. What was up with yeah. That? They were running Why? the ball with him. I don't know. It's the way Reed is. I yeah, guess. like when I was, I was watching pretty much the whole fourth quarter, and they didn't, I never saw him at running back. Oh, I don't know. They, I I barely watched the game, and the only play I remember is him just running a touchdown into the end zone. I don't recall how he did it. Yeah, the, but it was the awesome. Report blew up after that. Yeah. But yeah, that I, don't know, I, I just thought that was kind of crazy. I got he got me like fifteen points, and I saw he had like. 15 or 16 points, and he, uh, I saw he had zero receiving yards and 100 rushing yards for a, in a touchdown. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, this video is dragging on. We're almost at 30 minutes. Okay, next <laughs> game. If, I, if, I, if you didn't hear me, I said Raiders win this game. All right, yes, next did. game. We got the New York Giants going to D.C. to face the Redskins. Ooh, damn. Redskins this one. They always play good at home. I think they're going to show up. They're going to be fighting their asses off to get that sixth seed, which isn't going to happen probably, but Packers are probably going to get it, but 
I, I they're gonna have more fight in them than the Giants. The Giants are just got straight embarrassed by the Eagles last week. Um, so yeah, I don't see them picking up the slack this week anyway. I mean, I got the Redskins winning this game. They're going to be motivated to try to make the playoffs, whereas the Giants, you know, they're right. in. They're in. They don't got to worry about it. Yeah. Wait, yeah, they they can still get that uh, they can still get that um five seed taken away from them, can't though? Can't they? If the Packers win and the Giants lose, that could they could possibly get their five seed taken away. Yeah, they could. That yeah. would happen though. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. All right, we'll next see. game, we got the Seattle Seahawks facing off against the San Francisco 49ers. <laughs> uh, I got the Seahawks. Um, wait, is this in in Seattle? In San Fran. Oh, yeah, it doesn't make a difference, though. So. Yeah, I got Seattle. San Fran just doesn't have the weapons to compete with them this year. So, yeah. Go in Seattle. Yeah, I got Seattle. No doubt. Alrighty, next game we got the New Orleans Saints going to the Georgia Dome to face the Falcons. Um, Falcons offense is really hot right now. Um, as far as I know, is uh, isn't is Julio projected to come back this week or what's going on there? I haven't heard anything on Julio. I. Uh, yeah, honestly, either way, though, uh, I think the Falcons get it done. They're going to – this is going to be a shootout, though, because New Orleans' defense is awful, and Falcons' defense is, like, sub-20. So, yeah, I think this is going to be a shootout, but I think Matt Ryan comes out on top of this one. They're fighting for more than the New, for the New Orleans, even though – I know Drew Brees will put up a fight, though. He always does. Yeah. I got the Falcons winning. All right. I'm a, or, uh, never mind. All right. Next game, we got possibly the game of the night. Right. One of the most meaningful games of the week. We got the Green Bay Packers going to Detroit to face the Lions. Winner gets the NFC North. Ooh, let's go. I got the Packers. They're hot as hell. Giants are fading. I mean, the lines are fading. Uh, yeah, pretty much that. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, whenever he says he's going to do something, he absolutely does it. That's just who he is. He said he's going to run the table and start off against the Eagles. They whooped our ass, and they just whooped everybody asses ever since. So I absolutely think they're going to go up down to Detroit and whoop the Lions' ass. Yeah. Like I said, I think last week, Aaron Rodgers was like, Hey, uh, Detroit, that's a nice uh, division lead you got there. It'd be a shame if we ran the table and took it from you. Dude, I cannot believe they run the table, though. Like, thinking back to that Eagles game, everyone's like, oh, Eagles are just going to get an easy win. Packers defense has been playing back at Aaron Rodgers off his game. Receivers are off sync. This is going to be an easy win. Offense goes out there and whoops our ass. <laughs> That was so embarrassing. Yeah, yeah, you don't – you never count out Aaron Rodgers and the Packers because at any moment they can turn it on and they'll be right, at, right in your rearview mirror. Yeah, I, uh, I, I'm i calling it now. The Packers are going to the Super Bowl. What do you guys say? I wouldn't doubt it. I mean the Packers are on a roll right now. And the Man, Lions just – the Lions are one game away from choking away the NFC North. Yeah, I was – I'm, I was rooting for him, and I, ah, oh man, I don't know. I guess, yeah, I got, I, I don't know. I guess, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll be rooting for the Lions, because I don't really like the Packers, but I don't know. I can't help but, like, kind of root for the Packers, too. Just get, I'm just so amazed at what they've, they always are are able to do. It just amazes me, but, yeah, I don't know who I'm going to be rooting for, but I expect the Packers to come out on top. I mean, it'd be nice to see the Lions win. I yeah, mean, just, come on. Yeah, just shut the shut the Packers up for once. But come on, I mean, the Packers are probably gonna win this game. You know, they're rolling right now. They're running that table, and they're probably gonna win the game yeah. and win the NFC North. What do they won? Like they've won what five straight now? They yeah. They went. They went. They went from four and six to nine and six. Yeah. Nine, no, ten and six. 
crazy. <laughs> that crowd's going to be loud, though. It's going to be packed in that stadium. Yeah, especially since the Lions could not get it done against the Cowboys. Now the pressure's yeah. on. Yep. All right, so uh, that's it for Week 17 picks. We doing playoff picks next week? Let's do it. No, you know, no, we'll do we'll do our wild card picks. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna pr- we'll do a playoff prediction thing where we're gonna pick and see who goes all the way and stuff. We'll both like make sheets and uh, predict it next week. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah, wild card starts next week, right? I think so. Yeah. Pretty yeah. sure. All right. All right, man. All right. See ya. See ya. And that's going to do it for week 17 picks. Um, in case you guys did not hear before, um, in the uh, Bears-Vikings game, I picked the Bears. And in the Jags-Colts game, I picked uh, the Colts. I mean, I'm going to pick the Jags in that game. I don't know if I said it, but yeah, I got the Bears in their game and the Jags in that game. All right, so uh, I'm Crazy Dog 99 Hope you all enjoyed this video. Freaking almost another 40 minute video. Too much rambling. Well, anyways, I'm Crazy Dog. Go Browns. And I'll see you for my uh, Pittsburgh preview video. Which, if you're watching this, I'm probably already working on it. So, yeah. I'm Crazy Dog. Go Browns. And I'm out. <laughs>